Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will configure OSPF version 3. Until now, the OSPF we have been configuring is OSPF version 2. OSPF version 3, however, is used with IPv6. The configuration is largely similar, with one major difference that actually makes OSPF v3 simpler to configure. Let's get started. The first step is to create loopback interfaces on each router. These will become the router ID for OSPF. Although OSPF v3 is used with IPv6, the router ID still comes in the form of an IPv4 address, that is a 32-bit number in dotted decimal format. Same with OSPF v2, the router ID can be manually configured. If it's not manually configured, the highest IPv4 address on a loopback interface will be used. If there is no loopback interface, the highest IPv4 address on a regular interface will be used. Let's quickly make these loopbacks on R1 first. Enable, conf t, interface L0, IP address 1.1.1.1, 255.255.255.255, exit. Next, R2. Enable, conf t, interface L0, IP address 2.2.2.2, 255.255.255.255, exit. Next, R3. Enable, conf t, interface L0, IP address 3.3.3.3, 255.255.255.255, exit. Okay, next, R4. Enable, conf t, Interface L0, IP address 4.4.4.4, 255.255.255.255, exit. Okay, finally, R5. Enable, conf t, interface L0, IP address 5.5.5.5, 255.255.255.255, exit. Okay, that's all for step one. Now let's enable OSPF v3 on each router. Let's go back to R1. To enter OSPF v3 configuration mode, just type IPv6 in front of the regular OSPF command. IPv6 router OSPF1. However, in OSPF v3, we don't activate OSPF on each interface from OSPF configuration mode. We configure it on each interface in interface configuration mode. So by using the IPv6 router or OSPF1 command, we simply created the OSPF v3 process number one. Now let's activate OSPF v3 on G00 and G01. Interface G00. We activate it with this command. IPv6 OSPF, followed by the process ID 1, then area, then the area number 1. That's it. Interface G01, IPv6 OSPF1, area 1. Okay, now let's go to R4, also in area 1. Now on R1, we use the command IPv6 router OSPF1, but we didn't actually do any commands from that configuration mode. If we go directly to the interface and enable OSPF v3 on it, let's see what happens. Interface G00, IPv6 OSPF1, area 1. Do show run. Okay, there it is on the interface. 
and there you can see that the router created the OSPF v3 process number one for us. Okay, next let's configure OSPF v3 on the remaining routers. Make sure to put each interface in the correct area. R2 next. Interface G00, IPv6 OSPF1, Area 1. Interface G01, IPv6 OSPF1, Area 0. Okay, next is R3. Interface G00, IPv6 OSPF1, Area 0. Interface G01, IPv6 OSPF1, Area 2. Okay, finally, let's go on R5. Interface G00, IPv6 OSPF1, Area 2. Okay, we have configured OSPF v3 on each router. Let's wait a few seconds and then check if R5 has received all the routes it should be receiving. Okay, now before we check that, let's use a couple of show commands here on R5. Typically, I'd use commands like show IP protocols, show IP OSPF, or show IP OSPF neighbor. However, for OSPF v3, we have to change the IP in those commands to IPv6. Show IPv6 protocols. As you can see, this gives us minimal information, but it does show which interfaces are, when, are in which areas, which is useful. Show IPv6 OSPF. This command gives us more details, including things like timers. You can see the router ID of 5.5.5.5, which was inherited from loopback 0's IPv4 address. Show IPv6 OSPF neighbor. Here you can see R5's OSPF v3 neighborship with R3. Okay, now let's check those routes. Do show IPv6 route. Looks like we have the OSPF routes we need. And the OI indicates OSPF inter-area routes, since these networks are all outside of R5's area 2. Okay, now we have one more task. R1 is connected to the internet, so let's make a default route on R1 and then advertise it into OSPF. First, let's create the default route. So we start with IPv6 route, and then to make a default route, type a double colon, followed by a slash zero mask. Then let's give it a next hop of 2001 db8 01 01 double colon 2. Okay, do show IPv6 route. Okay, there's the route. Now to advertise the route into OSPF v3, First, enter OSPF v3 configuration mode. IPv6 router OSPF 1. Now, the command to advertise a default route into OSPF v3 is the same as in OSPF v2 for IPv4. However, I didn't include this command in the previous lab, so I wanted to show it in this lab. That command is default information originate. That's it. Okay, so now let's go to one of the other routers and see if the default route appears. I'll go check out R2. Do show IPv6 route. There it is, right at the top. In this lab, we looked at OSPF v3, which is used for IPv6. There isn't much difference between it and OSPF v2. Just remember to configure it at the interface level. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. 
If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.